What's up with you? How you doing today? I'm all right, man. Show me you. You just uh, you was excited about a book you got. Tell me, show me this book you got. Well, if I can. The only cryptocurrency investing book you'll ever need. Okay. Yeah, Ooh. by Freeman Publications. You know what I mean? So uh, so far, it's an excellent read. I'm only on chapter two, and it was some very important information in chapter one that sparked my attention that I wanted to talk to you about. You know what I mean about the the private keys and the public keys, you know what I mean? So I said I'm real good on uh want myself to be secure. So this little session it piqued my interest. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. So so what got you uh involved in wanting to learn about crypto? Man, just thinking about making more money, you know what I mean, or just not having my money just sitting to a a regular bank account making zero point zero two percent on your interest. So I Ooh. said I thought about doing uh, crypto and this looks like something that I want to do and I'm very interested in so I started reading these books on it. Okay. What what was the other book? You had mentioned you had another book. What was the name of that one? Uh one more other book was uh the, the value of money and then there was another book on uh just the, the beginning of uh bitcoins, talking about the originator, the creator of bitcoins and the money that was lost and everything concerning him. If you ever lose, you know what I mean, your your, your pen or something like that, then your your money is locked forever. Can't nobody use forever, it. Forever so. ever. Yeah, so it's good to have your pen and have it somewhere uh, where you can find it. Because they said it's good for you to have it and you alone. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking about uh, even getting that and then having it, uh, putting it in a, a safety deposit box. So if anything ever happens to me, somebody close to me will be able to have my information to be able to retrieve that. Okay, yeah, that sounds like a good idea. That yeah. There was this guy on the news, right? He, um, he, he bought some Bitcoin years ago and... I guess all his information was stored on the computer. The computer got thrown in the trash or whatever, or he got rid of it or whatever the case may be. Um, well, today they found out that the, that computer has $350 million worth of Bitcoin on the computer. So he went to the, uh, I think it was the state or the county and he was like, Hey, if y'all help me get this back, dig that, go to the landfill, dig that trash up, find this, this, uh, computer. I get a county or the state or whoever, uh, I give y'all a hundred million, you know? So he like, he wanted back bad. And I'm like, man, can you imagine throwing away 350 million? Like, <laughs> no, not even if you was a billionaire, I couldn't imagine you doing it because 350 uh, million is a lot of money from any way that you acquired it. Anyway, you know I mean? yeah, how rich you are, you know what I mean? That's just like me, the money that I have, you know what I mean? I make a couple of dollars, but man, if I lose $10, I'm mad. So <laughs> you said three hundred and fifty million. You know, man, how that can bless me, my family, and my family's family and kids, generation after generation. So, man, that that would be important to find. Did he ever find it? No, nah, he came on the news like, like, hey, we we trying to, he trying to get the city to unearth the. Okay. That's what they call un unearth his his stuff, and they like, man, we gotta go back into the landfills, take these tractors, and dig up all this ground, and so they. They kind of don't seem like, I don't know, they they didn't seem know. like they was 100% for it, but they didn't seem like they completely shut it down either. Yeah, if I was a county executive, knowing that I would, you know what I mean, advance the county by, you know what I mean, as far as uh, unearthing stuff, and it would be to benefit $100 million, you know how many people that you can help with $100 million, so I would have put them on that mission. Mm. Mm. Yeah. So you'd have been out there, boop, 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 yeah, right there, dig right there. I would have called in people, then you know what I mean. We would have did that. We would have took, you know, what I mean section by section. We would have got that, and we would have tried to retrieve that. Mm. Because I look for, I look at the pros and not the cons. Yeah, true, and that's that's good. So, so what what they call that? Um, I was talking to your brother, and he said, uh, he called that. Um, ah man, I can't remember the word. Basically, basically, uh, people that look at things with they cup half full, uh, as opposed okay. to half empty. Okay, it's so uh, I can tell you what that is. It's an analogy that I learned. You know, I mean, uh, dealing with Shenandoah Valley uh, College uh, a few years ago. You can either look through the lens of a telescope, or you can look through the lens of a microscope. So you look mm. through the lens of a microscope, you see everything up close, and that's as far. Basically, it's limited vision. You don't have no foresight or anything. Mm -hmm. So, but if you have vision and you have telescopic vision, you're able to see right now, but you're also able to see down the road and years down the road. Gotcha. Gotcha. So, so, so let me ask you something. Um, 
because because i i'm doing a little crypto investing and uh okay. there's some things i like it's so many different ways that you can make money in crypto you know you can buy and hold you can buy something and hold it you it, it just it, it's a, a plethora of ways um and so one of the things i like is just i read blogs a lot and i'll yeah. i'll i'll listen to some youtube channels just to kind of kind of get up to date on what's going on um but the blogs give you a lot of information and then the youtube stuff is entertaining you know okay. but you all take it with a grain of salt because um nobody can really tell you the best thing to do it's really at the end of the day all up to you you know so what so why don't you think about flipping it you said if the blogs give you one thing and youtube gives you the gives you another why don't you make your youtube a little bit like your blogs and mix both mm. Mm. So you have, so you be able to go to you know maybe one source and get two different uh, springs so to speak. That makes sense. See, yeah. hey, hey, I'm learning right now. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. This is fun. <laughs> learning can be fun, man. You make something fun and you make it entertaining, man. It, it makes people attracted to it. So, but one of my questions with uh, Bitcoin is, I know a lot of people might have this question: is short term and long term goals or long term gains. Mm -hmm. What is the best thing? Because you can do both. True. And you don't have to, you know what I mean, have everything in one box, so to speak. So you can diversify your Bitcoins, you know what I mean? Uh, you know I mean, Ethereum, you know what I mean? You have Bitcoin, you have all these different ones that you can go to and do multiple different things for what, you, what you're trying to do. So what would your idea be of what are you trying to do? If you're trying to do short term, where would you go? And if you're trying to do long term, where would you go? If I was trying to do short term, I would be looking at projects that's just coming out, right? And I would want to get in on the floor. So if I can get in on the floor of a project, of a project that I think is worth investing in, the community is good. You know, I, I've done my research. Maybe I've looked at some of the contracts that they're trying to put out and, and go through it and, and like give it more due diligence so that okay. if I'm getting in on the bottom, I know it's not something that uh, is just a pump and dump. Like where they pump it up and then they they pull, you know. So it's almost like Seneca Valley. You're trying to get into startups. Startups is more so what you're talking about. Something to put your fat foundation and see you see something and man, you have some. Uh, basically, you've done your research. You like you know what? I have a telescopic vision that this can go somewhere because I've already seen the microscopic vision of where it is right now. They were able to you know what I mean uh, first get started and you know what they built you know what I mean a hundred million dollars that they got in their, in their platform their foundation. So you know what. If you can get a hundred million dollars in a couple of days on a startup, you know what? It's going to go somewhere. Right. And okay. so, perfect. And so the, um, like for long term, think about the person that bought Bitcoin, right? If he had the long term, uh, view, that computer would have never ended up in the trash. That computer would have been, uh, no different from whatever he, Whatever he didn't throw on the trash. Get rid of your old phone and you buy a new phone. That's what it would have been. Yeah, that old phone would have been here. I'd have still been using my new phone, but that old phone would have been sitting on the desk. Um, but when you look at Bitcoin, I think it's more of a long-term thing. If somebody would have buy into Bitcoin, you can't look and say, "Oh man, look at the price now. This it didn't gone down. It's at forty thousand because nobody thought it was even gonna get to this point." Uh, so I think the people that is buying in it now, you have a uh, some that's trying to go with a quick flip and some that's really interested in holding long and to me bitcoin is like a a long game you know it, it's not one of those i'm gonna wait for a few days and see if it go up a little bit and i'm gonna snatch my money out it's more so like i'm gonna put a little bit in here and there you know every time i get a couple little pennies or something maybe i put in there you know exactly. pennies we mean in dollars but uh exactly. yeah we it, that, that's more of a long-term thing a long-term yeah. play because it's it's saying you you know it's 2022. Yeah. Three months from now, it can be up, it can be down. But I'm not thinking about three months from now. If I'm investing in Bitcoin, I'm thinking about three, four years from now, five exactly. years from now. When Bitcoin came out, I think it was like 2008, 2009. And today, mm -hmm. in 2022, it don't, if you invested back then, it don't matter if it's up or down. You, you all, you all the way up. Right. Uh, exactly. <laughs> exactly. And I wish that I would have knew about that. You know, what I mean, just just something. So even if when it first started, you would have had ten thousand. You kept that ten thousand, and then you would have been up right there. Oh my! Up. Uh, you would have been up. And, and you know, when you think about like, oh man, I, I would have 
I wish I would have did this. When we hear about these things nowadays, we can't we can't turn a blind eye and say, oh, you know what? Oh, that sounds too complicated. Oh, that's this or that. Everybody got time to take out of their day or out of their life and learn something new. And to me, if this is going to change the way how banking works, how money works, how online communication possibly works, um, I think it's worth looking at.